All across the country, people took to the streets over the weekend, making their voices heard after the Supreme Court's ruling on abortion. We heard chants from supporters and opponents toward that decision. According to Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, prosecutors can file charges immediately. Several other states are in a similar situation. I want to say good morning to Cleo Green, who is with us in the studio today. Uh, a new focus on this debate, one that's really been raging, Cleo, for 50 years. Yeah, Mark. You know, states banning abortions are now trying to outlaw and get rid of abortion bills. Back in 2000, 22 years ago, nearly the FDA approved the abortion bill Mifepristone that should be used with misoprostol. Now these pills can be mailed to a woman at home. It allows her to perform a self-managed abortion up to 11 weeks at her own home. And it's actually pretty common here. Check out the recent research and data here. It shows abortion pills. Some mailed to women are being used in more than half of procedures in the U.S. Now, Attorney General Merrick Garland said states cannot prohibit the use of that FDA approved abortion bill. But in South Dakota, the governor said that she plans to ban the bill or the pill rather from being mailed to women in her state. Take a listen. I don't believe that the telemedicine abortions are safe for individuals, for women to conduct at home. Now, other states like us here in Texas, Arkansas and Arizona, they are also working to restrict abortion pills, teeing up a very potential clash in court with the Biden administration. Now, there's been some big clashes on social media as well. The biggest one here at home is over the weekend. Senator John Cornyn, he had tweeted in response to Barack Obama saying that he denounced the ruling, saying now do Plessy versus Ferguson, Brown versus Board of Education, two historic cases that led to the beginning to the end of segregation. So a lot going on, very heated on both sides and a lot of gray areas to still look into. Mark, I'll send it back to you. Okay, thank you for that update, Cleo.